Traces of the supernatural reveal themselves more often than intelligent and reasonable men would prefer them to. Chimeras, worshipped by our ancestors centuries ago, crawl back into the light from ancient times. The directors of our fate rain ash down on us from the grey heavens. They conceal themselves beneath us, above us, and among us, staying hidden until we muster up the resolve to meet their malevolent gaze. Having been discovered, they appear in the flesh for a mere moment, and then they expire horribly, wreaking havoc on the world that they rightfully see as their toy. Would you look at those stunning graphics? Wow, what a marvel. Uh, my name is Basil McFish. This is going to be my first LP uh, ever. I've read a lot about this game, Pathologic, um, over the past couple days. It's really kind of sparked my interest. I'm somebody who doesn't like traditional games, uh, per se. Some of my favorite games are Dark Souls and the Metal Gear Solid series. I just finished uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, but yeah, so I was super excited to see that there was a Pathologic HD remaster coming out um, right as my interest was being peaked. I don't know anything about this game other than uh, I read the first review on Rock, Paper, Shotgun. Uh, the, I didn't read parts 2 and 3 because they looked like they had spoilers and I didn't want to ruin the game for myself. Uh, so yeah, let's dive into this. I am super pumped. And here we go! So, it's all about trickery to you? Wherever have you come from? No, no. I detest trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, the muscular contraction is there. Means you're already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles, right here. What a silly place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers. And justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo at Hebe. Don't you go all bossy on me, clever clogs. You will act justly, but your justice will blind you and become his demise. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Step aside, both of you. Your gentle hands are used to killing, not giving life. You will inevitably do harm. As for Brainy, he has no regard for casualties at all. Neither of you knows compassion. Yes, it seems unlikely that we'll get along well. 
but there's only one truth. Any choice is right as long as it's willed. That's the truth of the matter. Only the heart will show you the right choice. Stop thinking about yourselves. Think of the sick. He's in pain. I can't see it yet, but I can feel it. It's not even a trap. It's a grave. Subib funis sumus. Can't say I hold a soft spot for it. I can see that. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. I can hear it. It can be healed rather than killed. You mean you won't become a killer? But you will. Mark my word, that's exactly what will happen. But I can avoid it. No, we won't ever get along. I suggest we be on our way. The sooner the better. Off we go then? Let's go. The clock is ticking. Well, that one lady moves and talks really slow. It's like she's stuck in slow motion. Um, but, uh, what am I in some sort of theater? And the lights are off. So, I'm gonna go this way. Some people's faces. Was this like, okay, character select. Uh, bachelor. History of humanity witnessed a number of Catastrophes that have demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt the pettiness of human achievement and the triumph of invincible evil. Outbreaks of infectious diseases that have from time to time wiped towns and cities off the map are undoubtedly among those. However, smart and virtuous, the people caught up in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that it's no use trying to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite the bullet and cope with your losses. This is the story of a person who has managed to work a miracle. A defeat is seemingly invanquishable foe. This music is really distracting. How do they call upon the Menku, the faithful of the Warden Kin, known by their hands, for they are butchers, known by their eyes, for they are surgeons, they who follow the lines, they who are the leaders of the kin, they who speak to him, uh, they who know the secret art of, uh, <laughs> of Haru Spicy. What is Haru Specs? Read the future in the entrails. He knows that a body bears semblance to the universe. His scalpel follows the lines of the body. His steps follow the lines of his kin's fortune. A Herospex that can tell a true line from a false one is entrusted with power. A Herospex who is confused by a path keeps buried in the deep black flesh of the earth. This is the story of a person who has avoided the contradiction, eager to rip a doomed life apart, masterfully fulfilling its true purpose in the process. This lady with a rag on her head. This character is only unlocked after you finish the bachelor's or the hair specs. Alright, cool. Well, I like the hair specs. Achimi Burak is coming back to his hometown after an absence of ten years. Born to a family endowed with a caste right to cut living beings open, he was preparing himself for this line of work since childhood. Atimi's father, Isidore Burak, a wise man and philosopher well respected by the locals, had admitted to the limits of traditional knowledge and sent his son off to study modern medicine in the academy. Atimi has been travelling from town to town, learning theoretical and practical surgery for several years now. Suddenly, a mysterious letter appears with his father giving him notice of his impending demise and Whoa. begging Artemi to return and accept succession. Unwilling to wait for a regular freight train, Artemi follows the rails through the step until he's caught up with by a small shunt locomotive. This is how young Harispex arrives in the town. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, am I about to fight? Shoot. At this point forward, I'm the eldest member of the Burak family, a Menku. I'm the heir to my father, Isidore Burak, a warden of the kin, the supreme Menku of many years. The inheritance of my father will nourish my mind and my body alike. It is a question of life and death for me to claim it, for it will imbue my dissolute existence with reason. I'm one of the Menku, those who know the lives, those who open up the body, those who link the earthly to the under-earth. The duty of the Menku is to serve the children of Bodo, to interpret coincidence, to point out decisions informed by wisdom. The very reason of my existence is to carry out this duty. Who will I become if I fail to bind my destiny with my father's calling? Okay, that's my mission. Bind my destiny with my father's calling of some sort of mystical surgery. My health is not very good, and my reputation is even worse. Um, today's quest. I don't... Nope. Other tasks. Nope. Alright. Uh, what do I... Enter? Okay. Day one. In which the hair specs turns from a rightful heir into a dangerous criminal. Oh! oh. I guess what is because I beat those guys up. Um, Alright, well. Let's talk to these weird-looking bird people, I guess. Hello, brah. Welcome to your hometown, Warden. It's been a long time since you've been here. You probably don't even remember the spicy odor of that fire in the air. Yeah. Do you know why you were attacked? Nope. I don't. You've been mistaken for another person. They're looking for a murderer. A very important and well-respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk love the deceased more fervently than some children love their fathers. Don't be too hard on them for their outburst. Uh... <laughs> the music loops. Should I also feel sorry for them? Just... Are naive in towns like this reputation is everything. Books are judged for their covers here. Even after the last page's turn, no one is going to examine you in detail. A minor rumor here, a gossip there, and you're a public enemy already. You've got zero reputation. The only option available to you is living with the consequences of this. What should I do, random ass bird man? Restore your reputation. Do that now. At any other time, it becomes too low. People are foolish and weak. One day, you're beaten to a pulp and laughed at. The next day, you're worshipped. As for the third day, well, I think you caught my drift. What I'm saying is, any misdeed can be atoned for, and you'll be loved just as fervently as you were hated. How do I restore my reputation? Do good deeds. The town is small. The rumors spread like fire, growing hundredfold in the process. And they're spread by children, too, so... Your reputation will be restored. Just don't be wasteful with it, it's fragile. What makes it low? The decrease of your reputation depends first and foremost on the number of living beings you made less than living. Uh-oh. Uh, it also depends on how you influence the people whose fates are bound to yours. You'll meet those special people. They're called the Bound sometimes. A silly custom, but a useful one. Special people. 30 or so, each of them possessing their own unique traits. All of them hate one another, all of them are habitual liars, what? Uh, all of them deserve to live, yet some of them are incompatible. Someone has to die so that another may live. You know what that means. How will I recognize these people? That's not hard, they're striking personalities, locally famous, even though not all of them are of noble descent. Beggars, outcasts, little children even, bound to be a good bit closer to perfection than the common crowd. Uh, I see. Thanks for the advice. Random bird thing. Do you have anything else to say? 
So, Brock, you're almost dead. Got a few more minutes to live. I'm here to solemnly announce that. Uh, are you with that crowd? No, of course not. They were but peaceful townspeople, craftsmen, factory workers, kind sons and good fathers. I'm far more dangerous. I'm the mask of fate. And what does my fate look like, huh? It's not pretty, Brock. Really? Why? You've been hit on the head several times, and the locals have heavy fists. I'm not sure you've noticed already, but you've got four stab wounds. Uh, one of them seemingly rather grievous. Massive blood loss, too, and the local climate doesn't allow for too much strain. Any heart conditions? So, my heart is a bit too soft. Well, your health is in a sorry state. Am I wrong to suspect you haven't eaten for a couple of days and had no sleep last night? Your expression betrays you. Your hunger and exhaustion are also critical. I wonder which of these unfortunate afflictions will become the end of you first. So, what's your plan? What would you recommend? You'll need a first aid kit to restore your health, or at least some bandages or tourniquets. They'd stop the bleeding. Painkillers would help you make it even further. Where do I get them? You can mug the passerbys or barter with them. Children will gladly trade most valuable things in exchange for what others consider junk. Moreover, our drunkards usually have bandages on them. When you're drunk, it makes sense to always be prepared for a fight. When they're hungover, however, they sell their own sister for a bottle of water. Water is scarce here. Uh, is that good enough to make it in the evening? You're also hungry, aren't you? I'm uh, very hungry. You don't have to mug people to satiate your hunger. To sate? I don't know that word. Food can be found in shops, although your reputation would preclude you from enjoying their hospitality. On the other hand, a whole warehouse of meat was robbed yesterday when it was unlocked for shipping procedures. How do I find it? It's still unlocked and unguarded. You won't miss it. The warehouses are within a stone's throw from here. They also serve as a lovely shelter for the odds... Uh, for for the at odds with the law crowd, by the way. You've got that in common, so they'll most likely welcome you. Will you make it to the warehouses? I'm really tired. If any of the noble townspeople trust you enough, you can always sleep at their place. Just remember that you'll, you're you an outlaw for now. The only person who believes you is Vlad Olginski. I'll show you where he lives. You can get some sleep at his mansion. Don't forget to apply bandages before that, unless dying in your sleep is the career opportunity of your choice that is. Thank you. Be careful, dodge strangers. They're afraid of you now and will attack you in a heartbeat. Don't trust anyone. Speak to my feller, fellow executor. He wanted to have a word with you too. I already spoke with him. This is the map. Six. This is the lump. The old Miskees Manor. It's the home of Big Lad, who my father talked about in his letter. At least it was ten years ago. Okay. Great. Okay. So I guess uh, there's a bunch of dudes around a fire. <laughs> the sidestep is ridiculous. Probably would make more sense to be direct, but I feel as if all my metal gearing has made me want to go around everything. Can't walk up there. Okay. Uh, this is a creepy building. Some rocks. This is a big ass building. Look at this ridiculous draw distance. I don't know if I'll ever make it around. Dawn of the first day. Seventy-two hours remain. jumping.
have is apparently raise my fists. Right click his block. <laughs> oh yeah, can I see my feet? Probably not. Nope. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me walk all the way around that building. It was really exciting. Hey guys! Okay, so I ran past some angry bonfire people, and now I'm surrounded by children. Hello, hello, speak to me, speak, you speak, any of you talk, I can jump, okay, that's awkward, oh hello. Murder, murder, they say, damn, no one can kill Simon Kine, no way. A doctor! Gee, we've got a doctor already, quite unexpectedly, too. Haven't had one like me. They screwed my food up. I can't walk on my own, now. Bad Grief is the kingpin of the criminal world. He has a lair in the northern warehouses where he trades in weapons, twiring, and other nastiness. Every murderer and criminal has a connection to him in one way or another. That's the way it goes here, and that's why I'm asking you again. Were you with, uh, were you, uh, you know, were you on your way to him or not? I look like a criminal to you. Hmm, some people came running through the warehouses a minute ago. They told everyone that a horrible killer, the whole town's apparently already out to get him, had tried to escape by train, got ambushed, killed everyone, and was now going back here. And so now I'm thinking, were they perhaps talking about you? Oh, okay then. You do look like you've been through a lot. We'd like to help you, but we've been robbed too, and, as bad luck would have it, it's the medicine that's been snatched. Lika, the bastard, he's a traitor, a thief, a thug, and a prick. Wow. Lika, the name fits. The prick's a natural-born bootlicker. <laughs> Don't like this guy. I can't even figure out who he sold out to. The thieves with the dog heads. He stole the most precious thing from us, from his mates, the bastard. And on top of that, he's done it right when a war's about to start. A war? A war with the dog heads. That stinking bastard. That heartless, soulless little rat. Stole the most precious thing we own. Murdered a friend and ran over to the enemy's side. We used to think he was one of us. Was he pretending all along? He deserves to die. To be killed. Where's he now? He's probably with his thieving buddies. At first he hid in the step, and then he just vanished. Probably took a roundabout to evade us. We lost him near the barrow. Then he, then we had to run away because the thieves appeared all of a sudden. If you find the bastard, do cut him into pieces, please. You mean kill him? Yeah, the bastard doesn't deserve to live anymore. I'll give you my revolver as a gift then. Woo! One thing though, if he's with a dog, don't touch it. One must never hurt dogs. All right. Okay. Can I have any of your food? Hungry. He 
they screwed my food up. I can't walk on my own now. Okay. Nope. What's up here? Hello. Nope. Alright. Come down from the right. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm being chased. Oh gosh. Can't hurt me when I'm up here. Run! Run up here! No! Ow! Ow! No! I wanna go back to the children's house, please. <laughs> you can't go outside without being chased by these angry people. Nope. I thought that was it. It wasn't. Ow! <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Um, how do I get to, like, the map? Stop! Oh, there's my map. Okay. This is the... Is that me? It is. Okay. What if I face this way? Nope, that's the wrong way. I want to go this way. You stop following me, you son of a bitch. Some potatoes. Ha <laughs> By this one dude. I'll go back in. Let me in. Let me in. Yes, thank God. Alright. <sighs> okay, Q. Uh, what are my controls for this? Settings. Controls. Torch. So I use that. I'm no longer exhausted. What's this? Uh oh.
I thought he said I he gave me a gun. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go... Can I, like, set a marker? Okay. Apparently not. So, we need to go out, cross the tracks, run up the side, and go into that place. Good luck, guys! And that little bitch is gonna be chasing me all the way! Oh, I haven't been spotted. Well, that's nice. Not very tired though. This is good. Um, let me out this damn house place. Okay, that's the tracks. Nope. Avoid the people. Oh shoot. Everybody's just lurching about. past this dude. <laughs> Please, I must get to my father's friend's house. Stop chasing me, you rude son of a bitches. I like that they run in rhythm. Potatoes, is this it? We're getting close. Oh, what? The hell? Ow! You bastards! You gonna beat me up if I talk to this guy? Uh, are you Big Vlad, the owner of this house? Do I look like him? In all honesty, absolutely not. I just thought you may represent him. What do you want? I'm... Um, that's the postman. Okay, you see, tasked with delivering a letter of utter importance. Yet I was told he would only be here at 11. I haven't read it. Yes, you have. You're... Okay, alright. No. <laughs> the letter refers to one, Bachelor Danofsky. Who has come into the town for personal reasons, but will soon take on the responsibility of dealing with Simon Kane's mysterious murder. Oh great. Can I go in? No, it's locked! Shoot! They're gonna kill me. This is weird. Is this locked as well? Oh, I got it. Thank you. I don't know what it is. Empty bottle is requ <gasps> Sweet inventory. Rations. Oh no, but I don't get to keep the bottle? What the F? Oh, it's the slow lady. There was no murder, right? Was there? Who are you? Why are you covered in blood? Uh... So it's you, Artemy Barak the Harispex. We have long been waiting for you. I'm Victoria. My father is Vladislav Olgimsky. My friends call me Capella. <laughs> she looks horribly scared. I'm gonna call you Victoria. 
Will we be friends? Well, of course we will. Well, at least I hope so. You believe in premonitions? What about precognition? Sure. I have a feeling that in less than a, than two weeks, our world will collapse and be reborn in a new form. Oh my gosh. We'll have to create new life and sacrifice myself for the future's sake. Will you help me with that? Man, that's a heck of a first conversation. Uh, I'd be happy to help kill you. Um, or I hope that you won't have to sacrifice anything for now. What? Can I have a rest here? Of course! Here's- whoa. Thanks, Victoria. Um... 8.56 in the morning. Let's sleep for an hour. Take a nap. I'm still, like, about to die. Though. Do you have any food, lady? Oh, but he's supposed to be there at 11. Guests are always welcome here. I want to speak with you first. Like I said, I should send you to him if you get the wrong door and come to me. I have to behave. Um, let's sleep one more hour. Because... Then, we can just run next door, and, oh gosh. Shit! <laughs> Not again! What the hell is up with this town? Let me in the freak- Yes! 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 Okay. That's a creepy painting. Kinda like it, though. I hang that over my bedroom. Bed, 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 yeah. Oh, you look disapproving. Who is this bachelor really after? Can he be an inspector? Mm. Well, <laughs> oh damn, that's not nice. Are you expecting me? Was for a while. Lady's intuition can be trusted as told me you were to come any day now. Is that his daughter? We'll talk about that later. Well met. Artemis Barak. Yes, that's my name. Fortune turns all things to the advantage of those on whom she smiles. Okay. My looks are terrible, but please forgive this old man for his poor manners. It's hard for me to tell you that the death of your beloved father is most likely just the beginning of your misfortunes, Master Brock. Yes, I've heard already. Those bastards, however, weren't looking for the person who got off the train, but rather for the one willing to board it. They were after a murderer, you see. The one who's caused a lot of problems already. A lot. They say your father's death is the murderer's doing too, eh? I don't understand. My father was killed? There's a theory. A weird death. He was ready for it, though, wasn't he? He didn't let you know beforehand, and then he died precisely that night. Well, the fear is greater than the reason for it, you know. Pray tell, why would anyone examine the evidence now? It's so much easier to just tear apart the troublemaker. You. That is. What do I have to do with the murder? I've only just arrived! The minute the station mistook you for the murder, the problem is now they're broadcasting your features to anyone who listens, so that's why everyone chases me around the friggin' town. You do stand out, you know, and mass hysteria is an excellent environment for rash accusations, coupled with the questionable visions of a certain influential lady. What lady? Is it your daughter? A well-respected one. Do you remember the Sabarovs? I doubt that. Katerina isn't that much older than you. Katerina, Alexandra Severov's wife, she has extraordinary talents. Precognitive, dare I say. No one questions them that much as certain did she foresee me coming. Not only that, she foresaw many horrors related to you. It's all very vague, and you know, compared to my deceased wife, Katerina's talents are, to put it mildly, controversial. But there are enough for the commoners to identify you, and so what am I suspect for the whole town? 
A suspect? No, I wish. It's not a suspicion. There's no shade of doubt. They're positive it was you, my dear Master Brock. You are being hunted, and until panic settles down, please do consider their proof irrefutable. Those who have been left lying by the station are self-explanatory too. What am I being accused of? First of all, the deaths that you are actually to blame for, it was self-defense perhaps, but you can't prove that right now. But that's a minor problem anyway. Secondly, the murder of this town's leader, Simon Kane. Now that's more serious, a tangled mess of interests and parties, and thirdly, you've been accused of killing your father, Isidore. Isildur. Uh, that's horseshit. It's all one big mess, one big knot. You have to see that. It's not like the mob is looking for two separate murderers. Really, that pattern feels similar. The circumstances, and by the way, Isidor and Simon have made the day before. What can I say? One thing leads to another. It's not like they've got the time to reflect upon the situation thoughtfully. <laughs> They're in a hurry to catch the bad guy. Well, the bad guy is still here. Pray tell. And who is the engine driver, huh? Don't rack your brains. You won't remember, but I will. The station after all is my domain. He won't testify to your alibi. A half-human that he is. Deaf and dumb, too. Nobody knows how long you've been hiding in the town. Having secretly arrived, the seer has spoken of it beforehand. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Leader's death is... He just, like, ignores what I say and just... gives me exposition. The leader's death has stirred up the townsfolk, and the Canes are also willing to take drastic measures now. And you won't want those, you want to make those hawks angry patricide as a blasphemous crime. You're yet to clear those accusations up. As for now, you're an outlaw. How can I help the situation? You have to restore your good name. Townsfolk are simple-minded here. Hard-fisted, but kind-hearted. Popular choices and deeds. And erase and rewrite your past more than once. No one will remember what you've done before that. Just please refrain from killing. We have a tight community here. Everything happens in the public eye. Uh, those poor creatures in the streets are really not to blame. Don't be too harsh on them. For the first time in many years, they've got an opportunity to witness absolute evil. It will come to their senses in due times. So meanwhile, you need to come into your inheritance, don't you? And that means you need to free yourself from accusations, eh? Yeah. My word won't be enough. Everyone's squabbling. They'll probably see foul play in this. Here's what I think. The Canes have commissioned a peculiar man to handle Simon's case, a Bachelor of Medicine. He'd come a long way, and just in time, too. As though it was meant to be like this. He's the one searching for the murderer for them, so he's just on him. He's quite quick on the draw, they say. If only you could find him before he finds you. He won't shoot you straight away, then perhaps. Meanwhile, I'll be doing everything I can to aid you. It would have been so much better if you could just lay low for a while, but they'll come for you here soon, I'm afraid. Alright, I'll speak to the bachelor. Just wait till the evening, please. Right now, he is also confused, so he'll shoot first and ask questions later. And you, please do your best not to break more bones. Do not attract random people. Do not attack random people in the street. Just go easy on them and work on gradually restoring your good name. Also, go see my daughter right now. She's a good girl, and she's got something to tell you. I already talked to his daughter, but okay. Do you have any food? No. Oh. I won't believe in some earthen killer. Thank you. What are these? Oh, that's silver. Nice house you got here, buddy. The drawings are interesting. I guess one of the things I like so far about this game is how everything is hand done. Like this. Like I'm dancing on this chessboard in bed. So there's a topless dead woman that okay, never mind. Um hmm. Don't kill me. Don't Don't kill me. <laughs> no, there's the music. <laughs> there's the music. <laughs> Alright. Uh Hey lady, talk to me some more. There's a peculiar smell on the outside. What is this? 
weird. You're the victim of a terrible mistake. There's something I want to reveal to you. I'll help you establish your reestablish your good reputation. I'll give you a few names. All of them belong to children, but don't judge them by their age. Some of them may be invaluable. It is. All of them have been seeing Isidore quite often lately. Many, maybe some of them can even surmise who the real killer is, and the rest know for a fact that you are innocent. They are bound, and so accusing a person of patricide would be unnatural to them, even if the evidence is obvious. Happy to hear that. They can help you find out how your father spent his last evening. I only know that he went off into Stippet for a long time and came back very late at night. That's when the children went to see the old man in secret. What for? Do you know why their relationship with your father has grown tighter recently? The reason is quite sad. These children, my friends and faithful aides, are going to die soon. Why? No, but you must believe me. Your father has done so without hesitation. And he, like, she, she looks around aimlessly. And you know that he was a clever and suspicious man. He kept checking if anything was wrong with the kids every day. That's just how their line of fortune goes. They're more likely to die than live. I don't know. What do you know? Big ignition. Not only mine, though, all of us agree on this. So does your father and Simon. It's still so hard for me to speak about them in the past tense, and Maria, too. Katerina, even. Everyone agrees. Please take care of them like your father did. They must live. Simon and Isidore died, so they must be on the brink. What can I do for them? Just keep them in mind. Okay. And if you ever hold their lines of fortune in your hand, please do not let them go. You're also not a common man, you know. You're your father's son. Okay. So... All these people have to live. Murky, Sticky, Notkin... Grace, I met Notkin. Capella, that's you. Taya Jeek Khan. Okay. Bob your head at me some more. Can I have some bandages? This bachelor isn't that smart. Intelligent, yes, but not smart. It's the same power that my dear mother This bachelor. Okay. So, but you don't have anything helpful. This is that stuff I already used. Okay. Um. That is.
Wait for him to calm down. Vlad. She told me not to go to the cemetery though. That is an enormous friggin' building. Oh my gosh. Um. Let's go here. There's gotta be a way to do the map. But maybe there's not. So I'm gonna exit and just freaking run for it. At least they don't have guns. found me yet. That's great. Metal Gear. What a weird little town. I think if I get hit like once more, I will die. Hey, kid. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, drag it over to his side. I don't think I can... Never mind. Okay, never mind. These kids. These are all children. Hey, 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 hey. I've heard a lot about you. Nope. All right. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Do you want? No, you don't want drugs. Okay. Are you a kid? Are you gonna freaking attack me? She looks great. Man. No, I don't think so. Well, at least these are all kids and they're not those random dudes trying to kill me. Um, no, great. Now someone is trying to kill me. Time to frick. No, 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 no. The movement speed is just beyond ridiculous in this game. Got potatoes or silver or something. You just kite people around the whole time. A jump fence. Nope. Please don't hit me. That's not it, no. Is this it? Yeah. This is it. 
Ow. I'm going to die if I don't find something to eat. I'm so dead. I am so, so dead. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Shit. Yes! Uh, please give me some medicine. Uh, at least there's a bed. You're floating there, man. Did you hear that? Did it come from inside the well? Or am I getting the jitters? It is easier to govern others than to prevent being governed. Onion. Onion, a wise man, would never allow his head to have outstanding debts. I want it. Is it here? Hello. Can't, okay. This is just a glitchy game. The big city guest jumps the gun too much. Not the mystery solved.
This may not be the smartest thing to do, but I probably shouldn't have used all that stuff. That is a well. Do you... I need to go see Bad Grief. Bad Grief, where you at, son? Is this Bad Grief? Cemetery. Going to see bad grief, guys. What's interesting is that who are you? Hello, Jerry. Better to go around me thinks. Chase me, you son of a bitch. What is this? Do I want to go in there? Nope, I don't. Grief lives down this way. This is his place. At least I'm not freaking running and running and running from people right now. Uh, this is his place, but where is the door? Get in the back. Those people just let me walk into their houses. Squat, squat, squat. Hey, bad grief. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, naked lady. Yeah, I sleep when I'm dead. Feels like my stitches are popping.
many a one says ill that sleeps well. Everybody wants this guy dead. Why? Many a one says ill that sleeps well. That doctor is quick on the draw, eh? Shot someone already. I can spot a jailbird a mile away. People just chase you endlessly, I guess.
for sparing his life, but this asshole's still chasing me. Stop. Why? Okay, I guess I'm going to run all the way around the cemetery. Maybe I'll stare at this guy as I do it. <laughs> so silly. I like that I can't outrun him yet. Well, now I know why when I googled this for Let's Plays, I couldn't find any. It's because you spend most of the time reading text-based menus and running around being <laughs> chased by assholes. Okay, we're almost to our next little destination. Oh shit. What's wrong with you? The grave diggers have scattered. Where are they? Hmm. No. Changeling doesn't look like a creature made of bones and clay. Other freaking side of town. I've been forgotten here, so now my side is all damp. Okay, well, with that, I'm going to go ponder this game. Um, I hope you enjoyed this weird little taste of Pathologic Classic HD, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll make more of these later. Love ya!